Good morning, Summerside Intermediate School students, and welcome to your Friday Enrichment Answer. So uh, a few of you watched the video, and hopefully a few of you did try to get the answer to the question. Uh, there are many ways you could approach this enrichment question, but I'm going to do it my way and show you how I got the answer. And if you did it differently, got the same answer, then good for you, because always there is more than one way to approach a question. But here's how I took this question to be. The first thing I did was I realized that they are going to travel for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes they are going to be 5 kilometers apart. So given the information here, I knew, if I get my highlighter out instead of that one, I knew Miss Gerard was going 8 kilometers an hour for 15 minutes. So if she's traveling 8 kilometers an hour, or 8 kilometers, in one hour, how, med, how far would she have gone in 15 minutes? Okay, so I'm going to use proportional reasoning to figure out how far she went in 15 minutes because she went 8 kilometers in one hour or 8 kilometers per hour. Then what I can do here is since one hour as minutes is really 60 minutes, that's the same thing. Then using proportional reasoning, I could divide this by 4 to get 15 minutes and divide this by 4 to realize that Miss Gerard would have traveled two kilometers in 15 minutes, in the 15 minutes they were going. So Miss Gerard traveled two kilometers, okay? Now, if Mr. Coyle didn't go anywhere, then 200 meters, which is the same thing as 0 0.2 kilometers, right? Or Because there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So 200 meters is 0.2 kilometers. So initially, they were this far apart. If Mr. Coyle didn't go anywhere, then they would now be, oop, wrong marker, 2.2 kilometers apart. But Mr. Coyle did go somewhere, right? Mr. Coyle traveled far enough so that eventually they were 5 kilometers apart, right? So that means that if we take 5 kilometers and subtract the 2.2 kilometers that uh, Miss Gerard went and the 200 meters they were apart, that would mean that Mr. Coyle had to travel 2.8 kilometers before they were 5 kilometers apart. So Mr. Coyle has to go 2.8 kilometers until they are 5 kilometers apart. So, so Mr. Coyle has to travel 2.8 kilometers in 15 minutes, which means he would have to travel 5.6 kilometers in... Well, that's not true. Hang on a second. So his rate of speed, let me just re-erase this here, 2.8 kilometers he had to travel in 15 minutes is proportional to how many kilometers per hour? Okay, so we're going to reverse it just like we did Miss Gerard. So here, I'm going to multiply this time by 4 and multiply by 4. And if I take my calculator and say, what is 2.8 kilometers multiplied by 4? It tells me 11.2. So therefore, I'll erase this here, Mr. Coyle had to be traveling 11.2 kilometers per hour, all right? Because he had to go 2.8 kilometers in the 15 minutes, which means he had to be traveling 11.2 kilometers an hour. So if you got that as your answer, congratulations. If you did it a different way, uh, send me an email. Show me an email and send me an email and tell me what you did. Or show me your work on a piece of paper. Or show your teacher what work you did, because I'm sure they tried it as well, and maybe they did it a different way. But uh, thank you all for trying it, and be sure to try it Friday Enrichment number three, video to follow this one here.